Hello, welcome to JavaScript tutorial, chapter 8, JavaScript case sensitive, brought to you by Anglo Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn whether the JavaScript is case sensitive or not. Right now, let's understand that very clearly. Yes, the JavaScript is case sensitive programming language. So, the variable names, keywords, methods, object properties and event handlers are all case sensitive. So to understand these two sentences very clearly, right now let me jump into Visual Studio Code and in the Visual Studio Code I'll click on the file menu and right now I'll open the folder where I'm going to create my HTML page. This is the folder and I'm going to select that folder. When I do that I'll get the respective folder here and within that folder I'm going to create a HTML page. So I'll click on this icon and I'm going to name the file what I'm going to create right now. I'm going to create a HTML file so I'm naming it as demo.html. When I click on that you can observe very clearly we got this demo.html. Now when I double click now what I'll do is I'll write a bit of HTML code HTML tag add and inside the add let me take title and inside the title let me add a content link like demo of JavaScript and after that let me add a body element within the body element let me take a script element and to the script element I'll add an attribute that is type attribute to the type attribute the value is text slash JavaScript in the sense within the script tag we are going to write the JavaScript. Right now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make use of the alert function which is present in the JavaScript. So how do I write, how do I call that alert function? It's very simple. And alert I'm going to tell like welcome to JavaScript tutorials. Welcome to JavaScript. When I do control Z, I have to end it with the semicolon. Control S. When I go back to the folder where I have saved this page, okay, and here is the folder. When I double click, double click on this, you can observe we will get a alert message telling like, "Welcome to, welcome to JavaScript tutorials." Okay, I hope you understood this. This is very clear. Okay, now I'll refresh again. You can observe we'll get an alert message telling like welcome to JavaScript tutorials and this worked fine and keep in mind now what we are going to learn is we are going to learn like whether the JavaScript is case sensitive or not. So this alert function is defined in the JavaScript. So and now if I change the smaller case A to uppercase A okay now if it is not case sensitive and this should work fine in the sense in the web page it has to give like welcome to JavaScript tutorials alert message as expected but if it is case sensitive it should not display the message it should display error so now what I'll do is I'll go back right now I've saved this page control S I'll go back and I'll refresh currently you can observe we did not get any alert message telling like welcome to JavaScript tutorials why because we are getting an error Okay, and how to check the error? It's very simple. You have to click on the function key F12. Okay, when you do that, you'll get a developer option window. So you can observe here we're getting an error telling like alert is not defined. Why? Because JavaScript is case sensitive. It understands the uppercase A and the smaller case K A in different manners. So the uppercase A, this is called the alert function, and this is not this type of uppercase A is not defined in the JavaScript only the smaller case case A alert is defined in the JavaScript so now when I do control S when I go back when I do F5 we'll get a output telling like okay comes very clearly we'll get an alert message but when I do it reverse like in the sense if I make this alert A capital and when I do control S when I go back and when I refresh now when I press function F12 key you can observe we are getting an error telling like alert is not defined this makes us very clear like JavaScript is case sensitive okay and coming back to presentation you can observe this is what we demonstrated there like alert function name should be small letters but in the second example you can observe alert name is not capital A alert is not same as a small smaller case alert and that throws the error that is not defined okay and let me show you another example it's very simple what I need what I what I'll do right now is let me create a variable 
which holds a value a number okay or to create a variable in JavaScript you have to call this var keyword then the variable name is a is equal to 10 or let me take it like str string str okay and I'll tell like hello and what I'll do is I'll print this in the alert I'll print it in the alert window when I do control s when I go back and when I refresh you can observe we are getting a message telling like alert I'll refresh this again you can observe very clearly we're getting a message hello okay this is what we expected but now if I change uh, the variable name in the sense your this variable name is str and s, s is smaller case but here when I when I when I'm printing that in the alert if I change the case of the s to uppercase now when I do control s when I go back and when I refresh you can observe we are not getting a alert message hello so when I press F12 we will navigate to developer option window and you can observe again here like str is not defined in the sense it again strongly proves the JavaScript is case sensitive okay and that's what we learned in this session like whether the JavaScript is case sensitive or not so finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our YouTube channel Ang Pro Training you can, you can also like our Facebook page visiting these URLs you can also follow us on Twitter for further reference for our website we are on LinkedIn too Last but not the least, please don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you. Have a great day.